I like everything um, when I'm living in Ireland, especially the rain. It's very strange, someone likes the rain here. Maybe the people here don't like the rain because it's raining every day. But I really like it because in Syria the rain was bombs. I was studying music. The music made me say the words inside my heart that I can't express it with the words. Feel happy, feel sad, feel don't feeling anything sometimes. I didn't play anything when I was a child and I learned there is an instrument called oud and I really liked it. Then in college I learned piano, accordion, trump and organ. Yeah. When the war starts I stop playing music again. Because it's very sad to me to remember everything happened in Syria. I told the music a lot of words inside the heart. So these words nowadays will change to the blood words and the war words, the war words and bombs and the bodies in the streets. This will change me, change everything in music. I was an actor and writer in Syria in five years in theater. I don't like to talk much about my problems, but that's the only way I expressing myself to put all my anger, depression, everything I feel on my paper. I'm from Syria, from Aleppo. My childhood was very beautiful, growing with my four sister and one brother. <laughs> I remember everything, every single day, like uh, playing with my dad, studying there, lovely weather, sun, <laughs> food, <sighs> first love there, <laughs> everything. I lived in Derizor, it's in the east near to Iraq border. It's not too weak like Dublin, but it's just normal city, it's very nice there. I remember playing outside in the road when we were children. It just was very, very nice there. I used to go there back again. There is a bump in a place called Al Qusur. Then my two cousins with some people went to help. Then the second bomb come, came. This is the first time I seen blood everywhere, and the heads and bodies everywhere. I got shot in my hand, and I have bullet it's still in my hand here, till now. There's a plastic things with electricity. They just put it in my hand, in my eye. Thanks God, it's not in my eye, just here. A lot of blood. Like every day we hear somebody is killed every day. Everybody knows what ISIS is doing. There's the worst killing, rape, everything. And anyone, doesn't matter your religion or where you come, if you don't agree with them, they will kill you straight away. Crossing the sea was very, very scary. Dark night. As a woman alone, uh, wasn't easy at all. I wasn't safe at all. The journey of death, that's all. The journey of death. In the middle the sea, we stopped because our engine is broken. The woman starts screaming because uh, water flooding and we thought we are drowning actually yeah afraid scared praying all the time this is the end they thought that this is the end it was the the biggest struggle the biggest challenge in my life i think I 
after spending about one year in Greece, I got the call from Embassy of Ireland. It changed all my life, totally. I didn't imagine that I would be in Ireland. When I just came here, I said, okay, this is the end of all the sadness. First, we went to Balsaskin, like a refugees reception or something. We spent uh, about one week there. Then we went to Balahidrin uh, Refugee Center. At first, it's a very nice place, but actually not to spend one year and four months there. It affected me um, socially, psychologically, very badly. We thought that there's no one care about us, no one looking to us, no one, no one even know that we are here. It's far away from Dublin, we didn't know anything about it. I don't know how to like start a job, what kind of jobs there. There's just one way with the Red Cross, that this is our chance to get outside of here, outside of Balahadrin. Red Cross organization found me an accommodation and it was uh, great. Loneliness is like the, as a monster. Seriously. Nobody visit me here actually. <laughs> Even in college it's lonely. Even to work it's lonely. But it's very difficult to be lonely. I haven't seen my mom since five years and my sister since eight years. It's a horrible feeling. It's horrible, really, it's horrible. If my family were here in Dublin, I would be happier and feeling better. I can't explain what I will be feeling in the future if my family would be here. I won't care about anything else. When I go down to the sea, I just feel happy and okay. I don't think about life. I just think about something make me happy. Sometimes bad memories, but sometimes good memories. I'm just forgetting about all the blood, all the bodies, all, all the war. Just looking to the sea, forget everything behind me. I like sea. A lot. Hopefully one day I will live in <laughs> front of sea. Remind me always how I was courage to cut so far to here so I wouldn't give up now. I hope for a future uh, to see my family again. I don't know if I will stay here or not, honestly. I hope to, to stay with my family. I prefer that, of course, yeah. but I don't know where. Sometimes I listen to music in the evening. I like to listen to piano and oud when I'm alone. I don't think I can play music again. It's just very difficult after the war to play anything. Because before the war I wanted to play music to feel happy and to get the happiness. But after the war I'm just getting the sadness and it will be very sad to play music. I wish the Irish knew that Syrians are different. We survived violence. We left Syria to be out of this violence, to not be a member of this terror. We forced to leave Syria. We forced to be outside of Syria, to be in a safe place. Just know that we are people. That's all. I really don't have family here, but I have a different family. I find anything, I just call the Red Cross. And they will, I know that they're helping me with a lot of things and they help me with a lot of things with the Red Cross. I won't be alone.